me to be at your game unis with hot topics, hot twins, the spiciest memes. Let's spread it down for the noobs. We're going to be presenting all the goodies that we gathered, and we'll discuss them and most likely argue. I'm sorry, Marissa. Uh, but luckily for all of us, there's a mute button here, and we could only use it once to shut the other up. I was trying to get into your shot and like show off my nose, but I <laughs> didn't make it in time. Listen, we like it when you call us that when we're wrong and praise us when we're spin truth, so let's get to it, shall we? Our first story, we're going to kick it off with the biggest news of the month, Echo Fox's LCS spot. According to an ESPN report, Cronkey Sports and Entertainment is purchasing Echo Fox's LCS spot after its failure to get rid of a racist shareholder. The deal still has yet to be approved, but this will probably be a done deal considering the rumored 30 million US dollars is not something anybody can just pony up. Uh, unless it's Seb or Cameraman, because apparently he has a lot in Bitcoin stocks. Crown Key Sports owns the Overwatch League's Los Angeles Gladiators, along with a ton of sports teams, including Arsenal and the Denver Nuggets. Camille, what do you think of this turn of events? Like, are you sad to see Echo Fox go? Um, do you think Crown Key can actually mm. manage his team better? Yeah, you know what? Um, firstly, Seb probably could pro yeah. <laughs> buy, or camera guy could probably buy uh, the team. Yeah, I mean, the way he gloats about the yes. amount of Bitcoin he has, we'll see. Okay, we'll yeah, see. we'll see. But I'm really upset with the outcome of this because what is the shareholder learning from this? Mm. Absolutely nothing. Their shares are going to go up from the sale and they're going to make more money. Mm. And that's really upsetting. Like, I'm pretty mm. sure for Echo Fox, they were taking other factors into consideration, mm. like the fact that their team is last, yeah. and they're not performing that well, so they're like, you know what, let's just do away with it. Yeah. Um, but I hope the players, like, I hope all the players get to stay. That's the thing. Uh, I'm excited about the purchase only because of the players getting to keep their spot mm -hmm. and everything's going to be okay, hopefully for them, and they will get paid as well, which is very exciting. Yeah. I always like to see players being treated the way they should be treated. Uh, it's just unfortunate that this whole thing happened with Echo Fox. It's unfortunate that they had, you know, this racist shareholder that still holds power, yeah. which makes me so upset, but that just goes to show you kids that money can really buy you oh, anything, the can't the it? Money. It can really buy you anything. It's, it's, it's unfortunate. That's it's all. the wrong message, and it's like yeah. boycott no. Echo Fox. That's no, honestly, though, I think fans need to put pressure on the org because they're not doing what they should be doing. They're looking at the money. They're not looking at what's right. And Riot was looking at what's right by saying, get rid of him. And they're like, yeah. no, we're not going to accept the fact that you're going to transfer his shares to another family member. Mm -hmm. No, he needs to be reprimanded. Yeah. And that's not happening. And he's just going to go along and yeah. do this again. And now people in the industry are going to be like, yeah, we can be racist behind the scenes if we got money. But, and that's <laughs> not okay. It's just a testament to the amount of executives, the amount of people with money that have invested in esports that really know nothing about or care about esports at all. They just care about money, okay? This is the bottom line, and this is what we've learned mostly on the show, is that that's really it. It's the bottom line. It's about money. So, uh, unfortunately, there are probably a lot of other races that hold different key spots with yeah. different orgs that we just haven't heard from yet. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. We live in a world with a lot of, a lot of assholes, a lot of dicks, a lot of people that just shouldn't be a part of this world because it's supposed to be about inclusivity. It's supposed to be about, you know, all genders, yeah. all races, all colors, all creeds, all of it being welcome here. And unfortunately, this has been shone a bad light on Echo Fox and a, a, a brand that we've loved so much, an owner that we've loved so much. But this yeah. is also what happens when you give up too much of the pie and now we saw them go away, so. Well, let's look at the future of yeah. Echo Fox because while Cron Key Sports has a lot to look forward to, so does Echo Fox in a way. They pay 10 million dollars for their LCS spot back in 2017 and now they're allegedly going to get three times that amount. Equifax restructured much of its esports operations last year, leaving several esports and dropping a lot of its players. Mm. Marissa, okay, pretend you're like Equifax for a moment. What do you do with that money now? <laughs> This is really stupid. <laughs> this is really dumb. I'm really, I'm just really annoyed yeah. with this whole situation. Um, again, just like harping on our last topic, of course, and just moving on to this one. It's the same friggin' deal, I guess. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just annoyed with this yeah. whole situation. Well, I don't know what else there is to say about it. Yeah. Um, you know what I would do with the money? They're making money back. Yeah. Where, where is the money going? Um, back in their pockets. Mm -hmm. Where do you think it's going? Yeah. They can invest in other things. Or should they like just try to just pay out that shareholder and just get rid of him so They're then they not, can move they, forward? Because I, I think that that sports. conversation already freaking happened. I think it already happened. So Ooh. upsetting. Uh, it, this already happened. That's the thing. When somebody owns a piece of the pie, they don't have to get up if they don't want to. They 
purchased it. They bought it. Money talks, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you think in your brain and how you view others in the world. If you have money, do you see, like, the, I'm so annoyed right now. I'm so annoyed <laughs> for so many reasons, and I hate that, okay. like, that, I hate when that's, like, the sauce on top. That's the cherry yeah. on top. If you have money, you can do anything you want. <laughs> okay, well, uh, money, so it, like you said, does talk. So, would, would you want to see Equifax get into another eSport? Because, you know, they still have no, because a, they dropped, a few players. Yeah, but they dropped so... Look, first of all, they assigned so many of these FGC players, mm. which we're so excited about, because I love FGC guys getting love. It makes me so happy. But they dropped like 80% of them yeah. last year because they had other investments come in, other investors come in and they took a look at their books. They're like, oh my God, these people are bleeding money. Yes. Let's get rid of them. So like it became this whole thing where it was like, I'll put the community and we're going to lift them up and I'm going to start an esports org and everything's going to be amazing. And maybe it's a vanity yeah. play because you get to own an org and that's awesome. But at the end of the day, <laughs> it's all about the money and who you give a piece of your pie to. So uh, I would love to see them obviously reinvest and give it to players mm -hmm. and sign more people on. I don't think that's going to happen. Mm. I, I just don't. I just don't think it's going to happen. So do we think like this could be it? Like, are they going to drop all the rest of the players that they have? Are, do we I see them idea. leaving? I don't know what the frig is going on with them. Listen, we got to move on. Another news: Streamers <laughs> got zone received a 30-day ban on Twitch for allegedly exposing the personal information of someone who has sent him a death threat. Because this is the internet, Scott received received a threat for critiquing Final Fantasy XIV raids, oh my god, and the sender thought he wasn't harsh enough. The email contained explicit insults and Scott's personal information. For presumably showing the sender's email and name on stream, Scott's channel was banned. <laughs> Camille, what do you make of this? Okay. Yeah. This is probably going to be the unpopular opinion. Uh -oh. However, I feel like if you're going to send hate, take the hate back. I really don't care that this streamer read the guy's email yeah. and name, like just because he's not in the public eye, but he feels like behind a computer because someone's streaming, he could send all this hate to that one guy. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to take that hate back. Yeah, I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. I think that's what most people would think. If you're getting trolled, for sure, you deserve to get trolled back. And I, you know what? If you're gonna send me your uh, your S, I, I really want to swear, with <laughs> all your information, I'm gonna put it out there. Okay? Like I also have the option and have thought about putting people on blast that have sent me dick pics or whatever it is in my DMs, DMs that... like, oh, you've gotten the, some really bad the ones. Yeah, yeah, the DMs that get sent sometimes because, you know, we work in eSports so our DMs are open. We have a, a select folder, and other folder that we could look in <laughs> if we're feeling spicy. Uh, I'm never feeling that spicy. I'm a bit no, mild over here, yeah. No, that's the thing. You just look over there and you realize, like, oh my God, some people are just so stupid and they also have way too much time on their hand. To take the time to, to threaten somebody, to send them whatever it is, if you're going to do that, I'm sorry, but I feel like that information that you've put out there could be shared yeah. and if a person chooses to do that they should not be in trouble for it yeah I, like yes stand behind get... what you're saying don't yeah. be afraid and then play the victim because you were victimizing someone else yeah but Camille that's what cowards do <laughs> that's what cowards do so if you're gonna be a coward behind a keyboard and send stupid threats to somebody expect to get threatened back because what goes around comes around I don't think it's fair the twitch band that's so, not cool okay so from and, and a month banned did Dr. disrespect even get banned no. from Month? No. Okay, thanks. It's just the sheer size of the streamer, I yeah, guess. Exactly. And like you said, the money that talks, what yeah. the, the viewers they're bringing in and the money they're making off their streams, which is unfortunate for the streamer that has to suffer. It's so stupid. Oh, it's so it's stupid. So for our last story, Ubisoft is making some changes to Rainbow Six Siege to address exploits. Chief among them is shrinking the map pool in ranked mode. Players have long complained about the large number of maps that they have to learn and play in ranked. That change means players can practice and learn on a select few maps rather than over a dozen. By shrinking it, players won't have access to some of the content they paid for. Marissa, do you think that this shrinking of the map pool is a good decision on Ubisoft's part? Um, yeah, because it gives the players that they don't have to spend so much time learning different map pools and mm -hmm. making strats for different, like, I think, it's, I think it's important. I think it's important that they shrink it because there shouldn't be too many at all if they're gonna bring this eSport to the next level and make it yeah. the competitive play that it needs to be. I think it's fine, but obviously there's the other side to it that, okay, like, I paid for this map. Can I still use it or not? Well, no. I think a lot of people that are paying into ranked are paying to get good. Yeah. And you're going to get good with the less amount of map or the lesser amount of maps that you have. I yeah. think they had 14 maps. That's Which so crazy. is absolutely no. ridiculous. And some of their maps are really big yeah. in Siege. So to practice and, like, you just don't have the time 
time sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So I think shrinking it is definitely the best option. But sometimes with these changes, you are going to have those fans that just bought ranked to see how they would do yeah. and do like the selection of maps. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if they're going to get any pushback from any well, of Well, I feel like they should be, players. they should get, I, I guess they won't ever get money back. That's not the way things work. But um, get something, maybe some skins or something for or unlock other heroes mm -hmm. in advance or something. Get something in place of taking away the maps that they had purchased. Yeah. Um, that would be nice. There needs to be some kind of incentive there for buyers. But um, no, I 100% agree. There's way too many maps. That's friggin' crazy. Also, they also have to learn about these operators as well. Yeah. And there's so many different operators there's to learn. There's a lot of so, different operators. Of, of course, they'll probably main one, but there's a lot still, in Siege. Siege is a hard game. Lisa Ray told us yesterday yesterday that she still did not beat the tutorial. So oh my God. <laughs> hasn't she been playing this for a minute? <laughs> What the heck, Lisa? <laughs> no, that's the thing. It's really difficult. It's very difficult to learn. There's a huge barrier of entry there. Yeah. And making this huge map pool only makes it more difficult for people yeah. to get into it. So, uh, And also for the casters, too. Like, There's a lot to learn there. So, no, I like that they shrink. They had to shrink it. It should be kept small. I feel like five is the perfect amount for mm -hmm. esports, and that should go no further than that. Well, let's see if they do that. Yeah. All right. It's time to check in with streamers and clip it. In our first clip, Nymph is watching and... Oh, sorry. In our first clip, Nymph is watching an IR what and IRL streamer from Porn Star Sasha Gray when he notices something in the background. Here, look at this guy. 100% a horny stream sniper. 100%. Should I? Should I approach her? I don't know. Can I? Will I? Keeps looking at his phone. That's where he's got the stream. I don't know if I have it in me. Guy in the back, what the f I can't type. Guy in the background is watching your stream. She's not gonna, she's gonna ignore that. I should turn my, wait, I have my check mark on on this one. Snitching, oh my bad. Wait, he's gonna read that now. He's gonna read my message. <gasps> he smiled. That's so weird. Okay, Marissa, I know it's a little bit funny, but isn't that also really creepy? Okay, first of all, like good for Sasha Gray for still being relevant. Um, <laughs> like having an IRL stream, like I guess that's what we all yeah. need to do. Like yeah. I don't, I don't know if she's all this porn. Like I haven't been keeping up with her or anything. But I remember uh, the that she was in the Entourage or something. I think that's yes. how I first heard about yeah. her. But um, yeah, I I also don't understand. <laughs> Can we talk about the content of that IRL stream as well? I don't. I'm not trying to throw shade here, but like, what is that content? Are we just do? Can I do that? Like, do we just set up a camera and like go eat somewhere and not converse with the audience? Well, is that is like, that like how we do streams now? Yeah, I guess it's like this. Well, yeah, it's live, so it's kind of like a vlog, but you should actually interact with who's I mean, watching no, she, if you're live streaming. That's fine. She's a subscriber. She can do whatever she wants. Yeah. I'm just like, is that is that a way to stream now? Like, is this something that we're gonna see more often? Also, that's really creepy, especially because I'm sure she has a lot of those DMs mm -hmm. that I was talking about earlier. Yeah. She gets a lot of those, which means she has a lot of people following her around, and um, that could be a real issue. But at least, I guess, because she's IRL streaming, she'd catch them on camera being a creep to her, so that's also content. Well, yeah, I wonder if she caught that guy afterwards. I don't know. Because, or if he just left, like... Next time on Clip It. Oh. All right. Our next <laughs> clip comes from Lyric, who won big in GTA 5 playing roulette. Come on, 10K on black, come on. What a nice guy. Dude, this is taking five years. Oh, oh, come on. Yes. Black 24. We were feeling it, yo. We were feeling it, dude. Oh. What? <laughs> what? What was that alert? <laughs> what the heck? They're not going to pay him? <laughs> what? Imagine if you're like in a real life casino and they're like, oh, sorry uh, that you won. We're not going to pay you. That isn't right. And that shouldn't happen in game either. Yo, I would flip a table. Yo, I get really into it when I gamble. You cannot mess with me and that stack of chips that I've got going. What? That would really upset me. Do you have a gambling problem yes. like me? <gasps> 100, I do. And I got a taste of roulette oh earlier gosh. this summer. Yeah. <laughs> It's a scene, man. It's a problem. Don't tell my mom. All right. It truly is the best time of day when we stroll through the Twitterverse to bring you all the things the pros blessed with in their timeline. Let's get to the real talk and right off the bat, shall we? 
NBA 2K League's Dave Fry says, it's so crazy how much money you save when you stop eating out every day, lol. Um, uh, <laughs> that's the thing, we have this eureka moment, uh, like we'll all have it eventually, yeah. and we go, then we go buy groceries, and then we have groceries in our fridge for a week, and then a week later we're just buying food again, like we're eating out again. I had, it's just like yeah. this cycle of garbage that we go through. I just had this last week. Yeah. Um, I bought groceries. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. It's very healthy. <laughs> I have not eaten those groceries no. yet. And the other thing too is that you have these groceries that are going bad in your fridge because you don't actually know how to make the things that you yeah, purchase. Like, oh, I can use some of this Dijon mustard. I don't like. No, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I only know how to go to a counter, give money, and get food back. Like, yeah. how do you survive without sure. just buying food? We become super lazy. I'm just really upset about our laziness <laughs> just overall. And uh, I don't know. I need to stop going through McDonald's drive-thru. We're not, we're not sponsored by them or anything. But like, there's a real issue there. I'm addicted yeah. to their scored McFlurry. Although you do also treat grocery stores like it's a fast food restaurant. You'll That's just true. buy a batch of lettuce in a container. And then Marissa shows up to work and she's Wait eating up. out of that container. <laughs> just <laughs> puts a little olive oil in it and or that's the, it. Yeah, yeah. Or the day I just showed up with like a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. All tweet. right. Let's keep things on brand with this next tweet from Houston Outlaws GM Matt Rodriguez. Today I learned that I need to consume more yogurt and make more sandwiches. <laughs> What? I, why yogurt? I don't. I don't understand why, that. Why yogurt? Kick it, like maybe for the probiotics or something. But like you can also just take probiotics. I don't know if that much dairy is good for you. I don't know if you should be promoting eating or consuming a lot of dairy. I am lactose intolerant, so yogurt is not good for me unless no. it's lactose free. They do have that yogurt too. Yeah, but yogurt. Taste yogurt the same. is kind of like I don't know, man. It's one of those things that. Are I you get. not a fan of yogurt? I don't know. It's just weird. But like making sandwiches for sure. I just don't get how those two things go together. And like if he's starting to make his pack his own lunches, if he's like, you know, how you have to do the, the pre-made meals that people do that and they show yeah. off on Instagram. Please stop doing that. Well, he's prepping. Yogurt sandwiches, Marissa. Oh, that's freaking gross. All right. We gotta try that. Uh, uh, I just need to say <laughs> that I'm really sorry for this next one because it's gonna get ya. Alana Pierce says, do you ever completely unprompted get the Yoshi Story theme song stuck in your head on a loop and genuinely wish you could bleach it out of your eardrums? Ha, <laughs> 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 oh cool, me neither. <laughs> oh wait, the like N64 Yoshi Story oh, theme? Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, it goes like ba ba na 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 <laughs> but that's the thing, because like yeah. you can have so many different ones. Because I have, but like when she tweeted that, I just got immediately in my head like, dun, 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 dun. it was those Mario. But oh. like, it's still like the second you prompt like a certain song that might hit ya, that song hit me. But I never. I'm sorry, Alana. I don't want to bleach my ears. That's just glorious no. goodness. It's like I'm living in my own real no, life no, no, gaming no. musical. I love it. No, it's like that. It's a small world ride at Disney World where like that. It can get in your brain. Yeah, and then, and you, then you leave, crazy. and then you're like, oh, it's No, no, you'll that. go insane, all right? Mm. Tell us what song you would get stuck in your head, actually. I want to know about it. Let's move on, because it's time to get some crowd control. This is where we showcase some of the great or simply dank things the community has been making. First, we have Reddit user Piebald, who spotted the coolest whips in all of the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh my god, look okay, at that. All right, look at those Mario and Peach Lamborghinis. <laughs> this is insane. I love that. It's so they're, cute. They're like lovers on the on the tarmac. <laughs> it's so in nice. In real life. Like, would you? Yeah, in real. I like to think that it's real. But if you had money to burn, actually, what friend? Like, what would you deck your car out? What would I see my car? Like, what in? would you? Yeah. Okay. Mm, like, what well, would be the franchise? I you think it's no it, secret. It's the Legend of Zelda. Think of Is it. it. Yeah, you could have like a little Triforce chime, or your tires could have the Triforce on it, and then it rotates when you drive. No. What? Oh, I see. The yeah. hubcap. Yes. Okay. I don't know car terms. Okay. <laughs> the tires. Okay, fair. Uh, Tyler's saying, <laughs> Tyler is over here saying that you could drive a go kart to work. Oh, well. Would you? I already drive a go kart. Okay. All right. Sorry. Our next clip is from Reddit Use It, Sugar Wobblefication, oh. who reminds us even gamers should get outside and play. Hmm. It also reminds us that true gamer setup could be anywhere. <laughs> Look at that, he's playing Beat Saber out in the woods. How do you Brody? feel? <laughs> That's why Brody's not here. He's too busy camping out and playing Beat Saber. Oh my God. How do you feel yeah. about people playing VR outside or in like non-traditional spaces? Uh, no, it's nice they're getting outside for sure, but you're gonna risk people recording you. 
Um, and that's exactly what happened there. Um, I mean, whatever. If that's how you're going to get your fresh air. No, I don't, I don't like it. He's getting some exercise. He's moving around. He's going to close that circle. If no. he's got one of those watches, then he has to close movement circles. Don't do it. It makes it. me nervous. Imagine if, like, a cloud comes out of nowhere and it rains. Oh, mm -mm. Well, that's no, 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 no. You don't take that risk. That, that. That, that equipment's a that's expensive. A no, expensive. but if you're in the forest like that, or out in the woods, I would just be weary of, you know, animals. Oh, like an animal showing up and like yeah. trying to jack your VR set. Exactly. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know what they're into, man. Okay, for our last post, TikTok user Alan123 reminds us that even if a game isn't working, it shouldn't interrupt our experience. <laughs> Oh my god, that worker's face, he's full on dead inside. But which is worse? Is it worse being the worker or the guy that like paid for this for ride? Sure. And then some guy just comes up behind him and he's like, wait, oh. No. This isn't a full fledged roller coaster VR simulation? Ah, uh, absolutely the worker. That freaking sucks. Like, <laughs> this machine is. Hey, this machine's brought up. Can you uh, some, rattle some people around while they're playing it for us? Gee, thanks. Why don't you just shut down the machine? Oh my God. And what's the training that goes into it? Because he has there, to there know be. all the like drops no. to lift it up. He has to, because he looks like he's done that before and he looks so happy no. doing it. No, that was miserable. Listen, <laughs> uh, we don't want to make you miserable any longer. That's it for Unmuted. Remember, you can always hit us up at Squad State on our socials and we'll see you later.